Hello and welcome. In this video we will see the three codes which are basically used for daily monitoring. You may use all the three codes mentioned here or as per your requirement. This is part one of the video. So there is another part that is part two which is the continuation of this same video. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is to log in with our SAP user ID and the password. Then the first ticket that I would like to run is uh, AL08. This ticket will show you the list of all the users that are logged on in the server. So here we are. Here there are two destinations and 62 users are logged in. This is the username of the users that are logged in and uh, this is the terminal. This is the t-code used by them. This is the total time they are logged in for. And then uh, there are two instances and uh, the users that are logged in in two different instances are shown here. All the details are shown. So the next t-code that we will be looking at is SM04 where it will list down all the users logged in in a particular instance. So let's have a look. Here this is the instance and uh, here are 58 users are logged in with 90 sessions. So the next t-code that we will be looking at is SM37 where we will check the status of jobs. So right here we will put star and uh, right here I will be selecting only active and cancel jobs. So we will set the time here and then execute. Uh, these are the job names and uh, these are the users who created the job and the status of job that is cancelled or active. So this is it we can see here all the cancelled and active jobs. The next ticket that we will be looking at is ST22 which will show the runtime errors. This is the today's error 2. Just click on today. So here it is the runtime error right here and uh, the users who are responsible for this error so this is it and uh, our next t-code that we'll be looking at is st02 where we'll see an overview of the memory of our SAP system so here we go here we'll see the swap memory that is important and it should be swapping and below we will see the SAP memory that is role area, page area, extended memory and heap memory. We can see the used, current used memory and uh, how much is the maximum that can be used and so on. So the next ticket that we will be looking at is ST03 which will display the workload monitor. Here you just double click on the total right here click on background next we'll search for dialog and the time we need this value right here we can click ctrl Y and ctrl C to copy it and we are done here next to uh, the ticker that we'll be looking at is ST06 where we will be monitoring the operating system and then we'll go down here monitor operating system double click right here then we'll select the instance, just click on the plus and then CPU double click it. So here we'll find the detail of the CPU, memory and uh, swap. So this is the percentage or the values given here. So we need to click back here. Then we can go and check the other instance the same way. Now the next ticket that we'll be looking at is SM21 where it will display the system logs according to the time and date. So here we are. We just change the date and time accordingly then click on the execute button. You done? Click here. So here it will display the errors. So these are the logs that uh, occurs in the system by which users or at what time and the priority that is high, low, medium accordingly. 
so that's it next we'll look at the t code smlg here we'll see the load distributions on the logon groups so we'll click right here then it will show you the response time and just click once there to refresh it and here you can take a note of the response time the next ticker that we'll be looking at is SM66 where we will see the global work process here uh, different uh, processes like dialogue or background processes will be shown the status of that process how long the process has been running and so on here we can terminate a process if it has been running for a long time and here it is time how long it was running so the next ticket that we'll be looking at is sp01 where we'll be looking at the spool request enter star here and then execute we will see the list of spools that has been executed we'll click on right here to go to the last page here below here we will see the errors in the spool request so we need to make note of that so next t code that we will be using is sm12 here we will see the lock entries we will select star here here we will see if any users has been locked for more than 24 hours if so we will just release it from here so the next ticker that we will be looking at is sm13 here we will just execute it and find if any records or update records has uh, it came up with some error if there is an error we will just report it so with this we come to the end of the first part of the video there is a second part of the same video which uh, is the continuation of the same part so go check out there for more daily monitoring t codes thank you